Hi everyone, it's Sally from the Piggy Room here and I've got some exciting news to tell you and it's not what you think, I haven't got some new piggies these two are just staying with me at the moment that's Momo at the front and Kanya hiding behind, he's rather shy they're two boys, seven months old and the reason I've got them is I've just started doing some small pet boarding um, at the moment I've only got four bookings but Two of those bookings are with me at the moment. So this is, as I said, Kanya and Momo. They're going home tomorrow. I've got another four piggies downstairs, which I will show you in a minute. I've also got a huge haul to do, as um, I've been buying lots of stuff, so I could do a small pet boarding. Anyway, I will leave these two in peace because I just scared them. I sneezed. So these are the first two things I've bought. Um, a six foot double rabbit hutch. I think it's the Chardwell or the Chatwell uh, from a website called Home and Roast and that's for rabbits and that was new and then I bought this guinea pig hutch which is a five foot double which was second hand so we've refurbished it. It was pink and blue when we bought it so I've done it pink and green as I didn't have any blue in pet safe um, wood stain and then two runs one of which the smaller one for the guinea pigs is there which is a four foot by four foot with a rain cover and that's attached to the cage with um, a run around tunnel and I've then I've got a six foot run and another run around tunnel to connect to the rabbit hutch when um, I've got some rabbits coming next month so I'll just get some food and show you the piggy this is B. You're very pretty, aren't you, B? And the grey one, who's the um, bravest, that is Fluffy. And your little nose sticking out there, that's Mr. Potato, a neutered ball. And then Cookie's downstairs. I don't think she's going to come up. She's the daughter of one of these, so I'm not sure which. I will do a hutch tour at some point. I'm trying to squeeze some of this kale in. I'm not getting too much of what they've already had a ton. Can you let me touch you? Nope. Okay. I won't push it. They're all about three years old. Fluffy's the bravest and she will let me stroke her but at the moment I can't get to her. And there's Phoebe who's totally not interested. Just wants to sit on their boxes. You gonna come out? Hey Phoebs. doing up there. You can't go in the hatch, sweetie. So are you cute. They're all quite friendly but they're just a little bit scared of me at the moment. I've only had them two days and I've got you for the whole month, haven't I? I'm not used to having guinea pigs outside though so it's going to be different. Okay, right, on with the haul. Okay, these are mostly things I've bought for any bunnies that come to stay. First of all, I've got this strawberry um, pet house, I think it was called, which I got off eBay. It's rather large and it's furry inside and has a cushion I can remove. I thought I would give that to the bunnies, but if they look like they're going to be chewing it, then I'll take it out and give it to the cats instead. Most of the other things I've got, or a lot of the other things I'm going to show you, are from Scratch and Newton. This is actually the hutch cover that's on at the moment. It's called a hutch hugger, and that should waterproof the um, hutch. And it's got a see-through screen that comes down over the front, so they can still see out. Underneath that, I've got, oh, to put underneath that, I should say, I've got this hutch snuggle, which is basically a 
insulating layer made up of this sort of foily stuff and that will keep the hatch warm in the winter and cooler in the summer and it's got a fly screen down the front of it to keep flies out and hopefully help avoid getting fly strike. And then I have two Scratch and Newton run shades. They're both around four foot by four foot. So the one um, is on the smaller run at the moment, which I showed you earlier. The second one is to go on the six foot run. Um, I couldn't get a bigger one, so hopefully it will cover enough of the uh, run so that they can get out of the worst of the rain um, if they want to go out there. And then I have a bottle snug to keep the water bottle warm or stop it freezing. I do need to get some more of these for the guinea pigs as well but at the moment it's not cool enough that I don't need it. And then I have for the guinea pigs from QD stores a cardboard tube and this is also from uh, QD stores. It's a dog bed which was really cheap, it's £2.99. So I thought I'd give that to the bunnies and it doesn't really matter if they destroy it. And then lastly down here, I bought three of these plastic storage boxes, all the same size. And I thought I could sell, store their hay in one and their bedding in another. I'm not too sure what I'll use the third one for yet, but most of my supplies are upstairs. And if I'm gonna have guinea pigs and rabbits outside, um, I'm going to be going up and down the stairs all morning cleaning them out. So I thought I'd store some next to the hutches outside. Um, I'm not too sure how well it'll get on outside, but hopefully it'll be protected from the elements and we'll be okay. But if I'm getting any problems, I will bring them in. Right, on to the things I've got upstairs. Okay, this is a work in progress. I haven't finished it yet. But when I was researching rabbit hatches online, I came across this and it was being sold, uh, would you believe it, to house six rabbits, one in each of those tiny little compartments, which I think is unbelievably cruel. So when I did, when I bought it, I did leave a review saying that um, in no way should this be used to house anything bigger than a, a small rodent such as a hamster. Um, but I did buy it because I thought I could convert it into three good sized hamster cages. So what we are doing is there's supposed to be a divider down the middle down here. We left that out when we were assembling it and have used it as a shelf instead just by putting one little support either side. And then I'm going to drill a hole through that so I can feed a tunnel through it and use those as a way of getting up onto the shelf and I will do that for all three cages and then we've also put a piece of perspex along the front to hold in any bedding. It's not finished yet, I still haven't put the roof on as you can see it's just being used to store a whole pile of junk at the moment and then I need to paint it again at least one more coat on the outside and then paint the shelves and that's what I'm using you can't really see it because of all the paint but it's Coupinol Garden Shades in Lavender it has come out a bit darker than I expected which is a bit disappointing but I think it's better than that horrible orangey brown colour um, and I really can't afford to buy any more paint to do it a different colour because we've spent a fortune on all the stuff for the rabbits and guinea pigs already. Um, so there's a few things in here, I've been using it to store things. I have three plastic bowls from QD stores which I'm going to use as either a sand bath or as a potty for each hamster cage. And then this should be downstairs as it's for the bunnies, it's a Rosewood Naturals um, three ball set. And then next, I bought an iMac Fantasy, which I came across on eBay really cheap. I'm not sure what I would use it for, but I thought maybe mice, if the bar spacing isn't too big. Um, I won't put a Syrian hamster in there. It's too small. Possibly a dwarf hamster. I will have to look at if that's big enough for one. Um, but I've always wanted one. I don't know why. And um, I had the opportunity to buy one quite cheaply. So I thought, why not? I did need 
cage space for any small pets that do come to stay so I thought next I have this bunny warren extendable tunnel which extends to 30 inches and that is going to go in the bunny run and lastly I have two of these bluey tealy colours they're not as blue as they look on camera which I got from Amazon for the litter trays for the bunnies we've already put hay racks into the hutch and then going to put one of these under each hay rack for them to use as a toilet right I think that's about it um, I've probably forgotten something I've never bought so much stuff in my whole life um, anyway I hope you enjoyed watching it I have got a website um, for my small pet boarding so I will put a link into the description box if you'd like to have a look at that okay then well thanks for watching and bye for now